Hi guys, Chef Kevin Belton here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, I wanted to do something today that was just downright, low down, basic, all right? We're gonna fry fish and make potato salad. That's what we're gonna do. So as you see, something I have already on the stove going, I've got some Yukon Gold potatoes that I'm boiling. I just shut them off because they're ready. I have you see my... the garlic floating Oh, in now, I put garlic in. Because of the thing that you all know, Monica loves a lot of garlic. Yeah, I like garlic too. too. Yeah. Okay, we both like garlic. So what I did, besides the potatoes, I did a little garlic in there. See, that's just some sliced garlic that's going to get mashed up in our potato salad, okay? But we're going to make this in just a second. But let me show you what I'm doing with the fish. What I have here, I have a combination of a little flour, cornstarch, and cornmeal. You know, fried catfish, it has that crispy outside that gives that little extra crispy coating. That's because of the cornmeal. So in here, I'm going to add, I have a little black pepper, a little garlic powder, a little Creole seasoning, and a little salt. So I'm going to add that right in the bag. You now, might want to tell people that's the pink salt because they may not, they may look think the, the video is um, messed up. I use, I use pink salt, gang. I either use kosher salt, sea salt, this is the Himalayan pink salt, all right? But I always like to use like a kosher or sea salt, okay? Now, I'm doing this, you know, grandmother used to shake up in a bag, in a paper bag. Of course, you can do this in a bowl. Now, the catfish, I just took it out of the refrigerator. I have it soaking in buttermilk. Some folks don't like catfish because they say it has a, an earthy taste, all right? And if you if you worried about that, put it in buttermilk. Now, I'm gonna just kind of drain these off. That's what I have this bowl here for with the strainer. I'm just gonna pop them in so the buttermilk just kind of drains off, okay? I don't want to rinse them, but what that buttermilk does, the buttermilk gets rid of that. If you think catfish has that earthy flavor, some folks say it has like a, not a dirty taste, but a gritty taste to it. The buttermilk helps with that. Now, I'm doing these today in buttermilk, okay? And I just took them out of the refrigerator. One of the things about fried fish, things fry better when they're cold. So these have been in the refrigerator the entire time. I just pulled them out right when we got started. Now, I'm using buttermilk here. I've taken my garlic sauce, put that in a bowl, whipped a couple of eggs in them and let them soak in that. I've taken hot sauce, put hot sauce in a bowl, beat in a couple of eggs and let the catfish soak in that. The thing about hot sauce, you think it'll be hot, but it's not. It's gonna be very, very, very flavorful. It's not hot. For some reason, when hot sauce cooks, it just gets really flavorful. So let me just get these last two pieces out of here, just to drain. And matter of fact, this last one, I'm gonna just let it drip off and get it right in the bag to get it coated. All right? So we'll just go right in there. Let's take a couple other pieces and just get them right in. We can, should be able to get about three pieces in. And we wanna zip this close and just Shake it so they get coated really well, okay? Now, I've had the oil heating up. One of the ways to tell, take a little pinch. See that sizzle? That means the oil is hot. So, shake off any excess and just drop your catfish right in. Shake off the excess, drop them right on in. And one of the things about frying, don't overcrowd the pan. All right? So, let me rinse off my hand. I'm gonna move some things around so that we can get the potato salad going, okay? Now, our fish isn't gonna take too long to cook. So, I'm sorry, Mommy. Okay, I'm just gonna drain our potatoes right quick. Now, sometimes I put them right back in the pot that I cooked them in. 
Okay, then I'm going to put it in a bowl. And this way, see, I'm sorry, again, there's a little sliver of garlic down in there that I wanted to get. This may seem a little odd for you, but one of the nice things is to go ahead and do your potato salad while it's warm. Oh, look at our fish. Look how you get it nice and golden. That's, oh, I just pulled the spatter off. No, Kev, don't do that. This just needs a couple more minutes. I'll turn it down. But here for our potato salad. I find if you mix it warm, okay, the nice thing about mixing warm, it absorbs the seasoning and flavors more. Now I had a little bit of salt in the water. Here I have a little mayonnaise and a little mustard. Now I'm using yellow mustard. You could use Creole mustard. And if you notice, I'm not using too much mustard, okay? I am a mayonnaise fan. He's gonna blame that on me. <laughs> I'm not gonna blame it on you, baby. You're not a fan of mayonnaise, okay? So that's why when I make potato salad for you, I don't put a lot of mayonnaise in because you like it fairly dry, okay? Now, in here, see I like to my potatoes to get a little soft because I also like to, like to mash up a little bit. I also like them to, you have chunks, you have some mash. We'll get a little bit of our Creole seasoning. Just a little pinch of salt. I'm doing some parsley and green onions, okay, into our potato salad. Let's get this mixed in. Do you need to get this? Yeah, I'm about to get the fish out because it's just about ready. All right. Let me go ahead. Now, as you see, I just have paper towels on this sheet pan. Just set it there. One of the things I like about cornstarch, cornstarch also gives off that little extra, turn out fire off. When you fry gang, just a little pinch of salt, just just a little tiny bit of salt right over the top. But cornstarch gives that little extra crispiness. You can see the coarse texture. That coarse texture comes from the cornmeal. Okay, that's why often with fried catfish you see about using cornmeal. The other thing that's often used with cornmeal are fried oysters. So I've taken some eggs, boiled them, chopped them up, okay, and again, you know, we always talk about cooking to your taste. We both love a lot of boiled eggs in our potato salad. Now, truthfully, I would add a little more mayonnaise to this. But because I love my wife, you know you can always add to something, you can never take away from it. So I'll let her adjust it if we need to adjust it. But here, I had a little salt in the water. We can do another little pinch of salt. Always taste this. But the reason, you see why I'm mixing it warm? Because think about it, that green onion, that parsley, all of those flavors come out because it's warm. That seasoning will get in the potatoes better because it's warm. Now, here's something that my mom would do. At this point, my mom would take some of those boiled eggs, slice them, and lay them over the top. The other thing she would do is take a little paprika and just sprinkle the top with a little paprika. You know, paprika is not hot. It just adds flavor. There we go, look at that. So look at that with our fish. Oh, let me get a little plate that we can put a piece of fish on here. Let's put a couple of pieces of fish right here. And we have our potato salad right next to it. Look, we can pop a lemon wedge there so for some fresh lemon squeezed over the top. And of course, some folks like to do a little hot sauce on. That's great, but I tell you, gang, you know, when you mix it warm, when you mix it warm, it's a whole different flavor. So try mixing your potato salad while, while it's warm. Now, I'm not going to serve this warm. I'm going to cover this, put this in the refrigerator, and let it chill, okay? But 
I just like to mix it while it's warm. The potatoes break up, especially if you like that creamy potato salad, they break up better. And you know, we did this with catfish. Any fish you want to fry, do the exact same thing with. Okay? Including shrimp. I'm sorry? Could you do it with shrimp? Of course you could do it with shrimp. The only thing that you find folks won't do with shrimp, a lot of times folks don't use the cornmeal with the shrimp. The cornmeal, like I said, is often done with catfish and often done with oysters. But hey, who's to say you can't do it, all right? But just remember, put your seasoning in, the flour and the cornstarch, and, and you know, they make fish fry. They're different fish fry products that you might use. Basically what that is, that's ground cornmeal. Some is ground very fine, some is very coarse. So you can use the fish fry or kind of make your own, all right? So here, I'm gonna go ahead and fry the rest of this fish because I think I'm gonna have to cook this for Monica because I think we're gonna have a late lunch today of fried fish. But here we did catfish, shrimp, whatever you like, any type fish. Matter of fact, you know what else is nice with this? Boneless chicken thighs. Do the same thing with some boneless chicken thighs, that same fry. The trick to frying is making sure your oil is hot so that when you saw it go in, it sealed it. So you see, we got that crispiness, all right, because the oil was hot. Don't be afraid of frying. You know, we don't want to eat fried food every day. But when the oil is hot, it seals it. That heat seals it, and it's the juice inside that causes it to heat up and cook itself. So the oil doesn't penetrate. So if you ever eat something fried and it's soggy, the oil wasn't hot enough. So basically your breading just absorbed the oil, it got inside, so make sure it's nice, crispy, and hot. I thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you try the recipe. I think you'll like it. Keep washing those hands, keep mashing up, stay safe. For WWL TV, I'm Chef Kevin Belton, and we'll see you soon, and thank you again for cooking with me today.